GMA exclusive with Reese Witherspoon, Oscar winner, star of the new movie Mud. Welcome back to GMA. Thank you, George. Let's get right to the elephant in the room. Two weeks ago, uh, it's a Friday morning, I think, you and her husband are arrested. He's charged with DUI. You're charged with disorderly conduct. What happened? It's one of those nights, you know, we went out to dinner in Atlanta and we had one too many glasses of wine and we thought we were fine to drive and we absolutely were not. Um, and it's just completely unacceptable and we are so sorry and embarrassed and uh, we know better and we so shouldn't have done you that. You thought you were okay, that's why you didn't, I mean, a lot of people wondering, why didn't you call a car service, call a cab? Absolutely, and you know, it was just poor judgment. And I think, you know, we made a mistake and it is something that will absolutely never happen again. Um, just bad judgment, you know? I think the other thing that surprised a lot of people was the police report. You know, we read these things that supposedly you said to the police, do you know my name? You're about to find out who I am. You know, you've been under the spotlight your whole adult life, and this doesn't sound like the Reese Witherspoon most of us know. I know, I agree. I have no idea what I was saying that night. I, went and I saw him arresting my husband, and I literally panicked. And I said all kinds of crazy things. I told him I was pregnant. I'm not pregnant. I said crazy things. And if you only hear me laughing, because I have no idea what I was talking about. And I am so sorry. I was so disrespectful to him. And I have police officers in my family. I work with police officers every day. I know better. And it's just unacceptable. Have you had any contact with the police there? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yesterday, you know, I spoke to them and again, just said, you know, there's no reason to be disrespectful to a police officer. I think all I can say is I was just panicked. Well, one final question, and a lot of people want to know this as well. You talk about the big lesson learned. I think one of the hardest things for anyone caught in a situation like this is how do you talk to your kids about it, your right. older children? I have to say that's the hardest part about it, and um, having to tell our kids and, you know, just embarrassed, you know. And we have to say, you know, when you make a mistake, you take responsibility, and we are taking responsibility and doing everything in our power to make it right, and you... Um, you know, you just have to be honest with them. And that, that was definitely the hardest part. And the lessons learned? There's so many lessons learned, you know, um, absolutely. And, you know, I will, I will always, um, when a police officer tells you to stay in the car, you stay in the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I learned that for sure. I, you know, I think I've played a lawyer in a movie so many times. I think I am a lawyer. <laughs> and clearly I'm not a lawyer because I got arrested. So, um, no, it, yeah. So, I learned a lot. Let's talk about Mud. It is a rich and moving movie. We saw it uh, last night. Set in, in the deepest south, rural Arkansas. This is a world you know. Yes, well, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and when I read this script, it just so touched me. It's about um, where I'm from and about these young boys coming of age and learning what love is. And it was a great opportunity to work with Matthew McConaughey, too. And he's fantastic in it as well. And that, that's what's so interesting about the movie. It starts out as kind of an adventure story for the boys, but then it really does become all about love. Y you play Juniper, pretty hard girl, yeah. right at the center of the story, the love of Matthew McConaughey's life. And this little boy, Ellis, wants to believe in your love with him and his love with you. Let's take a look at the clip. You know you don't know him, right? I know he'd do anything for you. Is that what you think? Man's a born liar. That's why people like him. He makes them feel good about themselves. I do love him. He wants to believe that too. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's that, that time in your life when you're 14 and you're learning what love is. And he's so great, that actor Ty Sheridan, he's just amazing. This is really one of his first roles, right? Yeah, he was in Tree of Life as well. And, but this is a really breakout performance for him. And Matthew McConaughey, boy, he's been taking on all these chances. Yeah. It seems like in this one, I don't know, to me, this is the breakout performance. I know. It's so exciting to see Matthew. He's working so hard and doing such incredible work. And I, I'm just honored I got to work with him because, you know, two Southern people, we've always sort of been satelliting each other and we finally got to work hey, together. He never worked together before. No, we hadn't. But we'd known each other. So. And, and the critics are saying, and, and I, I have to agree on this one as well, this is your best performance since Walk the Line. What did you oh, tap into you. here? Uh, you know, she's just sort of a feisty southern woman, <laughs> which I can relate to. 
So, um, yeah, no, it was just great. It was great to get back to my roots and, you know, work with Jeff Nichols, a filmmaker who makes movies about the South that are so beautiful. And it was just a great experience. You're also a new mom, Tennessee James, what, a little over seven months old now? Yes, little Tennessee, yes. He's doing well? Yeah, he's doing really well, getting so big. And so what's like, next? Well, I'm doing a movie right now called The Good Lie, and um, it's about the Lost Boys of the Sudan and um, how they, you know, three of them came to America and sort of got used to being Americans, and um, we're just having a great time. I'm going to head to Africa and do a little research there about Sudan. Well, thank you for making time for us. Thanks for coming back, and uh, thanks for being so straight about all this. Thank you, George. Thanks Appreciate for the opportunity. Absolutely.